Time now for your co-main event of the evening. Five rounds for the Glory Welterweight Championship of the World. Myrtle Grunhart and Andy Semelier. It's all over! The welterweight efficient is a war song. Another knockout victory! Myrtle is really motivated by belts. He calls himself the belt collector. Welterweight champion of the world, Andy Savalier! He's a long fighter, mixes things very well. Crazy sick power. Uppercut is so good. There's the knockdown. Over and out. Welterweight title on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co main event of the evening. Five three minute rounds for the Welterweight Championship of the World. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, the challenger. He is a European and World Max champion, also a WBC Muay Thai champion. His professional career of nearly 100 fights consists of 69 wins, 25 losses, three bouts scored even, and 40 career knockouts. He stands six feet even, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, 76.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Suriname, he is the former welterweight champion of the world. He is Myrtle the Predator Grunha. Now his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He claimed the belt with a split decision over Alim Naviev in Bonn. His professional record equally impressive. 33 wins with just one loss. 17 of those wins coming by knockout. He is undefeated in two prior glory appearances. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.80 meters. He weighed in at 169.3 pounds, 76.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Curacao. He is the reigning and defending welterweight champion of the world. He Referee for this championship bout is Niels Burskins. Okay, gentlemen, we'll tell the fight. Five rounds to three minutes, you both know the rules, so make it a good and clean fight. You guys, protect yourself at all the times. Shake hands if you like. Myrtle is a type of fighter that won't keep his mouth shut. You have to beg Indy to keep his open. He doesn't like to talk trash, Fight. but he likes to deliver bad news with his fist. Let's see if the champ can do it. He's in the white, Grunhart in the black. Yeah, Semelier's got a very good jab, and he's starting to establish it early. Let's see if Myrtle's style's changed much at all. Well, he's being very aggressive. Yeah, he wants to stay. He wants this fight on the inside. Not wasting any time. Yeah, but you can see how unorthodox Myrtle is. In, out, scissor, knee, pressure, left kick, step back, southpaw. Yeah, you got to find a good sparring partner that can do all those uh, things, can replicate those things as you prepare. Yeah, this is why Semelier probably wants to keep that pressure. When you fight someone who's unorthodox, like that pressure style is, you know, the way to go. So Grunhardt needs to pressure, and so too does Similar, is what you're saying. Well, I think I think Grunhardt needs to kind of be unorthodox, which means move backwards, keep switching, and then mix things. But for Similar, it's pressure, defend, and counter. Grunhardt has the triple X tattoo on his back. Ooh, from the that city. clipped them. They're gonna call that a knockdown. Whoa. They are. That left hook touched. Three, four. Myrtle kind of 
resigned Five, to the fact that that was a knockdown. Six, yeah, seven, I saw a little angle here. Eight. Touched. Well, that's a good start for Similar. Ooh. Similar with that nice little jab. Looking like Muhammad Ali. I like that Similar's bringing some swag in there. He's popping, he's moving, looking what? good. Well, like I said, you can't get two words out of him in an interview. Oh, dropping the gloves there. That low kick might have gotten Indy's attention. Yeah, and he's going back to that jab to set things up. Well, he bounces like a boxer, doesn't he? Yeah, he bounces in, bounces out, keeps his range really well. Nice pull counter there. Beautiful combinations. The, what I call the semi-lear combinations. One, two, lead uppercut kick. Oh, and it's similar throwing a knee. It's funny, you see those scissor knees, the ranginess, and I even asked similar, do you see a similar, anything similar between you and Gruenhardt? No, nothing. Doesn't want to give it, give it to me at all. But there's slightly, I feel. Mike. Well, that knockdown didn't appear to damage Grunhardt too much. That shows the experience to be able to get up and stay calm. Like the feints of Semelier as well. Oh, nice knee there right before the bell from the challenger. Yep, that's what's called being unorthodox. Here's more information on bad news. Indy loves the jumping knee, which happens to be the favorite strike of Myrtle Grunhart as well. But says he has his own style that no one seems to have an answer for. So far, he's, he's right. Yeah. Bouncing in and out, nice range control. Myrtle Grunhardt, the Predator, with Big Mike giving him instructions, needs to wake him up. Signature strikes, knees after combinations. He'll back you up with his punches, and all of a sudden a scissor knee to the face. He's got anything. I have anything in my power to beat the best. Aleem Nabiev, one of the top-ranked welterweights in the world. He felt he beat Similier, but the judges didn't agree. Yeah, I mean, very close fight. I mean, watching that live, okay, I thought, round. you know, Aleem got fight. it done, but hey, Semelier is really coming in, showing why he's the champ and making up for it tonight. Body kick there from Grunhardt. First round, 10-8 across the board. That, that, thanks to that knockdown. Never count out the Predator. Mike. Still plenty of time, four rounds fight. remaining, as this is a championship fight. Nice low kick from Similier. Yeah. The exchanges after the punches. Technical kickboxing being on showcase. Joe, how do you cut off a leg, leg kick at the pass? What do you mean by that? You know a guy's about to throw. When you see him start to throw it, what do you throw? Well, either you can drop your straight right hand to kind of catch him off balance. You can pull your leg out and then counter off of that. Or you turn your toes out and block it with your shin. Sounds easy enough. So much more experience Ooh. for Grunard, but he just ate a right hand and his mouthpiece almost oh, dropped him. And down he goes again. One. Nightmare stuff here Two. for the Predator. Looked like a jab after an Four. overhead. Five, six, seven, eight. Myrtle popped his mouth guard out. Yeah, he did. Ready? Fight. So here we go. Let's see what kind of closer Similar is. Brunard popped his mouthpiece out. That usually means the guy is hurt and looking for some extra time. Let's see if Brunard can climb back. He almost looks a little bit defeated. Yeah, he does. Body language is saying, I'm in some trouble. Yeah, now he's just shelling up, staying against that rope. There's that lead uppercut from Semelier. It just comes so fast and hidden behind straight punches. Semelier can't be too aggressive, though. Yep. 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 
But similar, we said there was maybe some questions surrounding the legitimacy of his title because it was so close and so controversial. But right now, he is proving to be a solid champ. Oh, yeah, technical, sharp, mixes things very well. And I like that he puts his punches, his kicks, his knees all together. Very technical. Obviously listens to his corner very well, too. On command, it looks like his corner's joystick. Oh, big up. overhand right over since Grunhardt down again. Six seconds to go. Can he make it out of the round? He does, and we will go to the third. Good pressure here from Semelier. See, he was catching Myrtle. I was going back. It was a nice little jab that touched him. Came over, boop, touched the button, and put him down. The legs just caved, didn't they? As soon as you just touched the button, it's the shutoff switch. See, Semelier keep pressuring, but I love that lead uppercut that he sets up so well. But again, all about changing angles with his punches. He found an overhand, looking for uppercuts. Trying to find his opening instead of just ripping punches and wasting energy off of Myrtle's guard. That's technician. Collision 5 featuring Antonio Plaza Bot headed your way from this very arena June the 17th. Plaza Bot will face the winner of tonight's four man heavyweight tournament. June 17th, Collision 5. Tickets go on sale this coming Wednesday. Okay, guys, do it round. Fight! Nice low kick from Myrtle. Something's got to change and change fast. Myrtle down 20 to 16 across the board. I haven't seen one of those flying knees from Myrtle. Yeah, it's because of good similar pressure. It's very hard to get them off when someone's in your face and has good boxing, too. To jump forward while someone's lighting you up with a jab is very tough. That's oh. like right there. See, you gotta walk through that jab. Myrtle still digging deep. That's just, you don't know what angle Semelier's punches are coming at. Is it an uppercut? Is it an overhand? Nice inside low kick there from Myrtle. He's had his moments, Joe. Yeah, there's opportunities. Good start to this round for the Predator. And just as I say that, he's back against the ropes. Quick. Quick. Strikes landed by type. Similar with 61 punches, but Grunhardt with 31 kicks. Similar strikes landed. Yeah, it seems like Myrtle's opening up a little bit more, being a little bit more active, not going for the knockout, just touching, which is what he has to do. Keep busy. Again, inside low kick scores from Myrtle, but he ate a right hand and a big one. Similar's got to get some space. Oh, he took a nice angle. Are they counting it? They're gonna say that was a push, I believe. Fight! But you can see Semelier trying to create an angle. That's what you want. 50 seconds to go here in round three. Again, this is a title fight, so we will go five rounds if needed. You know, right when Grunhardt seems to be getting some momentum, Semelier backs him up. Ooh. And now they're opening up. Similar landing the right hand, and then a jab. Looks like Similar lost some steam in his punches. Doesn't have that pop that he had in those first two rounds. Can Myrtle afford to make this a boxing match? Oh, nice right cross. Well, I think he just has to scrap, put the technical side away, and just let's go. Him being first, him being active, 
is winning him. This round here was a great round for him. We'll find out momentarily. Our open scoring will be on the screen. No, he did not. All five giving it to Similier. So Grunhardt needs something very dramatic. And by that, I mean a knockout. Frank. Frank. I mean, it was definitely a better Frank. round for Myrtle, the way he's getting in there, pressing. Fight. A little bit of fatigue now setting in for Similier, but it's definitely a closer round, that round three. Nice calf kick. From similar and everything's working here in round four. Yes, corner was asking for a lot of jab low kicks. That's the similar combination, one, two lead uppercut. Similar's upper body movement and head movement looks just like a boxer. You don't nice see that loose. Yeah. A lot of kickboxers have that high guard that's stuck to their head where Semilier kind of drops his hands a little bit, Great. moves his head offline, has a pendulum bounce to his step. Sliding in and out just like that, fainting with his shoulders. Nice level change. Great. You wonder, you said similar, looked like he might be slowing down in that third round. Maybe the fifth round is the moment Greenhart could possibly Greg. score something big. And I feel similar just needs to keep it defensive and technical. You know, Myrtle can land that knee at any moment, so similar needs to make this and keep it clean. Exchange kicks. There's another. Oh, that almost dropped Greenhart. He's been out of the ring for over 24 months, Joe. And he's struggling to win rounds here. And he's still bringing the fight, coming forward. Labored punches, but they're still coming. And there's that overhand right Semelier's had success with. Either way, nice job by Grunhardt to get off the canvas and make this competitive. Yeah, he's still bringing forward, throwing. Off the canvas in both rounds one and two. Oh, yeah. nice exchange there for Similier. When he throws combinations, Joe, he's tough to stop. Yeah, when he makes his angles, levels, puts his kicks behind it. Break, break. One of the better combination fighters on the roster, in my opinion. Well, Similar thinks the fight's over. He's got one more, buddy. Similar thinks the fight's over. Like I said, the fifth round could be a bad one for him. Trust me, I've been in five rounders before, and I forgot which round it was, so I don't blame him. Well, you talk about a buzz oh, kill, Joe. You're thinking the whole time about the fight's over, and they're like, no, you got another three minutes. Broke his heart. Hey, Hey, 
There is the number one contender in the heavyweight division, Antonio Plazabot. He'll join us for commentary for our tournament final in just a few minutes. Yeah, gets to, we get to watch his future opponent. Get to break it down with him. So all or nothing here, Roberto Grunhart. Three minutes left. Similar mentally may have checked out Joe as he was climbing the ropes to celebrate. Okay, guys, final round. Check hands. Fight! Let's see if similar spin all his energy in the fourth. Yeah. Nice knee there from Grunhart. The crowd trying to urge him on. Yeah, there's no other better motivator in kickboxing than Big Mike. Here comes the Predator. He's found his Fight. second win. That's what veterans can do, Joe. Fight! Yep, let's we'll see if the, the young champ can weather the storm. Let's see how he what he does. Oh, nice turn. Well, that right hand lands. Oh, again, similar scores. Brunhart does not want to be in the corner. Oh. Oh, ah. scoring again. That right hand's not missing. Yeah, when he puts everything in combination, it just flows beautifully. Did Myrtle just have one big blast of energy? Yep, may have. Or is he maybe he's saving it up for one more? Emptied the tank there. Right on the belt line, Grunhart. Does he have right. the power, even if he lands at this point, to drop similar? It almost needs maybe a knee or a kick or something unorthodox. Maybe whip a spinning back fist or something to be different. A left hook score, but again, not much behind it. Semelier now just trying to hit his points and move. Brunard has landed more strikes in the last three rounds. He there for Brunhardt. Oh. So he continues on. Fight. Great heart being shown here. Can Semelier finish the job? Man, this would really put a statement for Semelier. Finish it with an exclamation mark. Where's that kick? Where's that kick? <laughs> You're waiting for that scissor knee up the Throw middle. High kick, it's 10 coming. seconds left. Oh, that right hand. hand. Can he make it to the bell? Oh, hey. He does, and just. What a performance by Andy Similier. And how did Bertel make it to the bell? I mean, now's the time for Similier to jump on the road. He said, I can't. He already did it once. He get one shot at it, and he wasted it in the fourth round. Well, give Grunhardt credit. He gave it all he had and was willing to go out on his shield. And now Similier going to try and get up on the ropes again. Yes, sir. The fight's officially over now. <laughs> are, are you surprised at how dominant he was? We'll get that answer from Joe in just a minute. The official decision is next. We're back in Rotterdam. Here are the highlights from our world title fight. A very technical fight for, you know, Andy Semelier, the champion. The way he put his combinations together, set things up, was just fantastic. Used his jab, found the, a nice knockdown there, right on the button with a nice overhand right, followed by jab. But he showed moments of great pressure, showed good boxing, in and out. 
was able to drop Myrtle a few times, but the toughness of Grunhardt just kept coming back. Myrtle had his moments, but Semelier, just the younger fighter, very technical, very crisp, just sharp all around. And you can see him use his kicks well. He boxed well. See that head movement, but Myrtle kept coming forward, made a great fight of it. And in the fifth round, just when we thought Semelier was kind of coasting out, trying to get his win, he was able to find some beautiful right hand. Myrtle Grunhardt just fell like a tree, just stiffed out, but was able to get up and finish the fight. That's an experience, Myrtle Grunhardt. Here is the strike count. And ladies and gentlemen, Myrtle Grunhardt still managed to land 195 of 327. Very similar strike statistics, but there's no doubt who won this fight after scoring three knockdowns. Here are the strikes by zone. Headshots, 143 for Similier. Grunhardt did better to the body and to the legs. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened after five championship rounds. We go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see them out and score them out the same 50-42. A unanimous decision, all for your winner. And still, welterweight champion of the world, Andy Semele. Presenting the belt. Our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. I'm here with your champion and still Andy Semelier. Man, it was a, an awkward fight sometimes with Myrtle, but you showed a, a fantastic performance. Give me your thoughts on the fight. Yeah, it was a hard fight. The Predator is the name. Uh, and uh, he showed that he's the predator. I hate him a lot, but uh, he's still coming. And I uh, respect to him for a hot fight. Yeah, you showed a good technical performance, got your knockdown. Did anything surprise you about Myrtle? That he uh, keeps stand up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's a tough opponent. I have respect for him. Respect for everybody that stepped in the ring. And uh, I'm ready for the next one. Now that you're the champ, something next. Who intrigues you in this division? Uh, I say it a couple of times, I don't care. I'm ready for everybody. Oh, let me say it on the other way. Bad news for everybody. All right, there you go. Your champion, Andy. Bad news, Semelier. I want to thank my sponsor, Mr. Yari and AB Lifestyle. Whoosh. Got to thank your sponsors, just like NASCAR, right? Congratulations to Emmy Similier, and any doubts about whether he is indeed the best in this division may have just been put to rest. A dominating performance over one of the best welterweights in glory's history.